When it comes to military training, science does matter. Held in the Show Water Bay Training Area in Australia, Exercise Wallaby is one of the most extensive overseas exercises conducted by the SAF. Since the first Exercise Wallaby held 25 years ago in 1990, the training has grown in both scale and complexity. The 2015 edition of the exercise saw more than 4,000 personnel and 400 platforms operating in the area three times the size of Singapore. Exercise Wallaby, uh, given its past and uh, extensive terrain, allows us an opportunity to really stretch out and uh, exercise the units. The terrain also allows us to conduct the live firing and maneuvers in an airland context as well. Uh, so on all three frames, we see the units uh, exercise extensively together with the Air Force as well. One of the highlights of Exercise Wallaby 2015 was the integrated live firing involving the Bionics Infantry Fighting Vehicles and the Leopard main battle tanks from the Singapore Army the Apache attack helicopters from the Republic of Singapore Air Force and supporting elements and the mortar track carrier. Given the scale of the live firing, coordinating all of these different platforms was no mean feat. Under the armoured live firing system, the troops undergo a qualification phase comprising platform rehearsals that test their individual proficiencies with their vehicles and equipment, the tabletop exercise, and war gaming. In our armor family, we believe that the LFS is uh, important for confidence building. The tabletop exercise shows the positions of every platform in the movement of the entire battle group. On the tabletop exercise, we can actually see the big picture so we know what is happening, when it's happening, and what other people are doing. Armed with the knowledge of the big picture, the troops head out to the field for the war gaming component. Fire now, out! Fire, fire. Wall gaming would be basically a very simple simulation of the actual live firing itself. So clearing bounds, um, simulating fire firing, the vehicle has to maneuver themselves through the terrain. After the qualification phase, the armoured troopers are ready to move out. But the integrated air land live firing would not be complete without the Apache helicopters for the RSAF. Combining agility, precision and firepower, the Apache is a force to be reckoned with. The Apache is actually an attack helicopter, so its uh, role is to carry out precision strike on targets. We can do the strike with our own friendly force in close proximity. The Apaches provide close air support to the Bionics infantry fighting vehicles and the Leopard main battle tanks. But in order to unleash the combined firepower of these platforms, they must be able to coordinate and fight as a single cohesive unit. Providing the critical support needed for the integrated live firing is the Airland Tactical Control Center, or LTAC. Connected to a network of radar systems, such as the three-dimensional mobile Shikra radar, the LTAC can accurately track both air and ground platforms in the area of operations to create a common air-land operating picture. With this information, commanders on the ground can make informed decisions faster and respond effectively to changes on the battlefield. What we do is to be the coordinating agency for the various platforms here in Wallaby. We ensure that all the operations can occur simultaneously without friendly forces firing on each other or any uh, conflict of airspace activities. All these capabilities put together means that we could fight much better as an integrated force across the whole SEF. With all the pieces of the puzzle in place, the stage is set for the integrated live firing. The space here is much bigger. Our full force of our armor infantry troopers are being tested here. It gives the men a lot of confidence after they have been through it in their own ability, in their platoon mate, in their buddies' abilities to be able to fire and uh, maneuver. The third generation armed forces uh, is uh, characterized by network, uh, fighting network, fighting combined arms, and fighting integrated. Uh, we saw the opportunity to exercise all three aspects uh, here in uh, Wallaby. With this vast terrain, about three times the size of Singapore, uh, it provides our armoured soldiers and NSFs, NSmen, 
uh, incredible opportunities, very realistic training. At least in the last 25 years, our exercises have become very much more complex. So I'm very happy to see that we're making the full use of these opportunities.